I've come a long way from Arc Soft Photo Studio 2000. Yeah, that's the program I was using in high school, but then I got to college and then I was shown the ways. I was shown a new way by one Sean Harrison. This way was known as the Adobe Creative Suite and nothing was the same. So yeah, since then, and especially now, in my current position, I use a wide variety of Adobe products, and each product gives me something different. So I usually use each project, each product, for certain projects. Photoshop is what I use for most of my social media graphics and any kind of alterations I want to make to photos, you know, photography, um, any type of things that I know are going to go straight to the web, usually. So... Photoshop was pretty much my first love. I used Photoshop for everything for many, many years. Uh, so like that was the program that I used. So in Photoshop, you're going to be making raster images. Raster images basically mean that the images you see on the web are made of a grid of pixels. So if you zoom into a photo, you know, deep enough, you zoom in close enough, you'll see the tiny little squares and stuff like that. So that's like the raster image. Now, the program that has taken over as my number one, as my ace number one, is Adobe Illustrator. So any of the illustrations, the supply illustrations, or any of the logos, especially the logos that I post a lot, all that starts in Illustrator. All that's made in Illustrator. I love Illustrator. Illustrator, I can make vector images. Now, vector images allow me to create something of any size and I can just make it bigger or smaller. So I save a lot of the logos that I do for clients and for what I do for the fraternity and sorority. I save a lot of that in Illustrator because if I save the source file in Illustrator, I'll be able to make that into any size that I want to and easily edit that logo or that illustration for other projects. Vector graphics is the use of geometrical primitives such as points, lines, curves, and shapes or polygons, all of which are based on mathematical expressions to represent images in computer graphics. That basically is an explanation of that, which basically means I can make it any, any kind of size that I want, but still maintain that quality. So if you zoom in to a, to a vector image, you're gonna see the curve, you're not gonna see that pixelation that you would see if you created something in Photoshop. That basically is an explanation of that, which basically means I can make it any, any kind of size that I want, but still maintain that quality. So if you zoom in to a, to a vector image, you're gonna see the curve, you're not gonna see that pixelation that you would see if you created something in Photoshop. If you actually look at an example of the covers I've done for the podium, which, which is the official publication of Kappa Kappa Sign Tau Sigma, most of the covers that I've done for the magazine, I do in Photoshop, but the ones that are illustration heavy, I actually do those in Illustrator because if I want to make something like a smooth illustration for a cover, I'm going to want to do that in Illustrator. But if I'm just manipulating photos and working with the colors of a photo and placing certain things or making kind of because some of the covers I'll have like, I'll do like a shadow, so I'll make it look like the podium logos like within that portrait. That kind of stuff I'll do in Photoshop. So Photoshop and Illustrator are definitely the ones that I use the most. For a long time, for a long, long time, I actually uh, used Dreamweaver. Now Dreamweaver is the web design Adobe product. So in Dreamweaver, that's where I would make a lot of the HTML or CSS based websites and then connect that to the server so I could just upload as I was updating pages. Uh, I don't use Dreamweaver so much now, but for a long, long time, that's what I used as far as websites is Dreamweaver. Now, Premiere, Premiere is what I use for video editing. So, you know, this show that I'm filming right now uh any kind of announcement videos anything video based i'm going into premiere so premiere is the video editing part of adobe's uh creative well now it's called the creative cloud it used to be called the creative suite 
So I used Premiere for a number of years and it served me well. Now, as far as the job I have now as publications manager, InDesign, InDesign, InDesign. InDesign is so good. InDesign was an absolute must for me to learn when I first got here. I had to learn because that's what the podium, the inside of the podium, and all the formatting that goes on with that, that's what that uses. It uses InDesign. So I had to, you know, use the templates that are already there for me. And then also, once I got the hang of it, kind of create my own template for the magazine. So, you know, basically with a lot of like text heavy, uh, multi-page documents like guides to membership, uh, any kind of text books type, type of documents, uh, you know, anything like that, InDesign is an absolute must. InDesign is what I use if I'm trying to make brochures for people, if I'm trying to make, uh, sometimes when I'm trying to make posters, as far as like there's like text heavy elements there. Uh, anything like that, any kind of documents where it needs to look official and needs to be formatted, I get my guidelines together and I do, because it allows you to like link files so you can like link uh, certain images or link certain link certain images into the document itself and so any kind of publication that you're trying to do in design is an absolute must in my humble opinion and I've been using it a lot now on rare rare occasions uh, I think I'm gonna try to do more of this in the future but there is this program known as After Effects now After Effects is what you would use for you know motion graphics so i did a little thing for the beginning of kk side videos where i you know i kind of put some words there kind of animated it a little bit with the flip of the crest and stuff like that so something as like a, a channel signature uh i know i've used it as far as that my creative bobby b i've tried that a couple times and a logo animation which i'm going to try to do more of in the future but yeah that's that that after effects is kind of intimidating to me but i'm going to get over that and do that more but yeah, after effects is what you want to use if you want to get into like the motion graphics and kind of make stuff move now the adobe programs work so well together so i can like take a photoshop source file and import it into a premiere so each of the layers i can you know have each of the layers be revealed in a certain time or things of that nature but they work really well together across different programs so and it allows you to create some really quality content now these are just the, the programs that i use i'm not saying that you have to use these visit adobe.com for all they're not sponsoring this or anything i'm just telling you where to go i mean i would love for them to sponsor wink wink uh but yeah just find the tool that's right for you tool or tools it's right for you and get to work